Hiya. All right. I'm good. How are you? I'm James. I'm 33. I work in an office. I'm Teddy. I'm 28 and I work in an office. Twins. Office buddies. Yay. <laughs> I'm a graduate actor. First year math student at Warwick. I'm a support worker. I'm a support worker. I am a singer and I'm a singer and an actress. Pick up one brick if you've ever felt judged by your colleagues in a workplace. Gonna go for it. Pick up two bricks if you've ever had to hide who you really are in order to be successful in a job. Pick up three bricks if you've ever kept something fundamental about yourself a secret from your colleagues and managers in a job. Give me a hand if you like. Do you need a third one? <laughs> Pick up three bricks if you've ever been verbally abused in a place of work for being who you are. I'm not going to be able to lift this bag, am I? Shocking. <laughs> Pick up four bricks if you've ever been physically threatened at the place of work for being who you are. <sighs> Feels like a heavy burden to carry. Pick up your bag if you identify as heterosexual and cisgender. Pick up your bag if you identify as LGBT+. This! Considerably oh. heavier. And 37% are not out at all to their direct colleagues in their first jobs. No one should have to carry that burden. Drop the discrimination. We are all equal. That was quite, uh, quite an eye opener. Quite shocked by some of the stats I saw. I, th I thought I was informed about this kind of thing, and it turns out I'm not, which is kind of disappointing. It, be it became a situation where I was scared to go to work and people just wanted to make you feel like you didn't want to be there. Smashing a cup on the floor because I was bisexual. Like having something that's like for you as an LGBT plus person to go to, just somewhere you know you are definitely safe in bringing it up. Right, I get that completely. Mm. And it's an ongoing education yeah. anyway. It is, it really is. It's nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> <laughs>